Soda, how's your day? Thank you for popping in. We probably won't be doing anything too exciting tonight. I, uh, I was reminded of a spooky level in House Flipper that I would like to do. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. I hope you're having a good night. Gonna flip all of these houses. Yeah, Soda, I appreciate you popping in. Are you able to hear the game's music? Okay, good. I appreciate it. Probably actually start playing in a couple minutes here. I'm just waiting, giving a little bit more time for folks to trickle in. Alright, I might as well get started. So this is the original House Flipper. I decided to play this tonight because, well, for one, I haven't played it in a while and I did rather miss it. And two, there's a specific special level that I want to do. I was recently told about a new game that's uh, currently 
I think it's it's not even greenlit just yet. It's uh, it's on Steam under the name Haunted House Renovation. So basically, it's it's this, but with a haunted house. And I am very much looking forward to play it when it, playing it when it eventually comes out. And that got me a bit excited. Hey, Coons! Thank you for popping in. Sorry if I missed you earlier. So, uh, this is the OG House Flipper. I don't think I have the graphics on the best settings for this, actually, because, uh, for performance reasons. Uh, so this is actually not the house you start in. It's another house you can buy. I just did a quick, um, before stream started, I just outfitted this real quick. And then, I haven't actually completely decorated everything just yet. So, the level I want to do today is, um, it is called Samarta Meyer's House. A beautiful big house in the back country for sale. A lucky strike for people who value silence, peace, and want to take a rest from the city noise and other people's company. Just think, only you, your house, and the nature around you. The place was abandoned many years ago, and it needs a complete overhaul, but in the right caring hands it will become a true gem. We advise superstitious people not to buy it. That doesn't sound concerning, neither does the fact that it doesn't have any screenshots of the inside of the house. Which, if I go to other houses, you will see there are plenty of shots of the inside of the house. So let's find out what they're hiding. Buy house. And I'm gonna go to the house. So y'all will have to let me know how my, my sound levels are throughout all this. Hold on! This house is haunted, but we can lift its curse for you. Do you want to play with the spooky stuff? Yes. I'm not scared of anything. So to starting off, let me just hike up the, the volume a little bit. I'm not sure how well you can hear it, but there is definitely, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't notice him! Uh, gee, I wonder who that is. <laughs> but yeah, if you couldn't, uh, if you couldn't figure it out, this is a, um, uh, a Halloween house. Mr. Myers is over here making sure we don't fuck up his house. Uh, to be frank, I don't think he's supposed to be there, or at least I don't think we're supposed to be able to see them. I think they've changed this since I played it last. Hmm, that's not concerning at all. Hello! You're not- you're also not concerning at all. Are you still- <laughs> Okay. Alright, uh, have a good day. We've got some nice drippy droppies. Um, nice messy bathroom. Oh, that's the toilet thing, right. Okay. Uh, did y'all just hear another door open? Pretty sure I just heard another door open. That I did not open. We've got, uh... You know, these, you know, you normally can't turn on the TVs, but that one's just on. And we have a bunny with a knife in its head. A knife that I cannot pick up, by the way. It's just in there. And we've got... <laughs> the I know what you did last summer me or... Or no, is it, is it Scream? I forget. Either way, 
lots of fun faces for this little guy. Well, anyway. I don't like the fact that it just auto-saved. See what other rooms do we have down here? I think I actually might keep most of this furniture, although the colors don't match. Okay, so we're missing uh, we're missing those, so that's less than ideal. I'm gonna have to hmm insert the coffin, huh? Okay, well that's an option. Okay, did you have to do that that way to startle me like that? Alright. That's not concerning at all. Ooh, blacklight. Hmm. Yet more bunnies. Bit more of a mess. Not as bad as I was expecting. Okay, any... Yep, there are still dirt and, uh... Let's just call that splatter of some kind. Ah, that must be... Okay, yes, I can clean that. Alright, good. Now I'm gonna be real with y'all. The lights aren't supposed to be on. Uh, when I first played this level, the lights were never on. So I guess they've updated it to have the lights on, and I think it kind of detracts from the vibes they were going from here. Alright. Alright. Well, that was concerning. Oh, these are not just... This isn't just, um... These, those are gouges in the walls. Because I need plaster to fill them in. Well, I think we can guess what happened to that poor gal. Guess those stains are as close we're gonna get to blood. Well, this place has been abandoned for a while, and yet they never cleaned up this, uh... This crime scene, which is... Ever so slightly concerning, police. Come on now. Alright. Okay. Well, I'll come back and repaint the walls and everything later. I still haven't gone into the basement, which I guess is part of where the game wants me to go. I should clean all of this first, though. Actually, I think most of the mess here is outside, the outside wall. I do enjoy this damn mask. Uh, excuse me! Oh my! Oh dear! Did y'all hear that... that breathing sound? Oof! This is... I maybe I, I didn't remember about this effect. Uh... 
That is... I don't remember what... I believe that's like Satan talking to somebody or something. I forget what the name of the painting is. Oof, this is not easy on the eyes. Excuse me, if you don't mind, I am trying... Hey Jake, thank you for popping in. Uh, we're just in a haunted house, MBD. Uh, okay, it looks like this door has vanished. Um, oh, and now it's back. Well, that was a concerning noise. But yes, hello, Jake. And this is, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, Jupiter eating his children. Like the, the titan that ate all of its children. It's a pretty famous spooky f uh, f uh, painting. And if you'll notice, the door is now gone again. Excuse me. Thank you. This house does not want to let me go. You are a child, sorta, but you are not that child. There will be no eating the soda. So I'm not gonna lie, um, it looks like a lot of the effects on this level that I were anticipating straight up didn't happen. The lights are- when you enter this room, you're supposed to hear a spooky child noises, and the lights for the entire house are supposed to go out and not be brought back up again until you, um until you break the curse. So I'm not sure what happened, I'm sorry. I was really expecting this to be a lot more fun than it was. Also the musical sting upstairs when that girl character, the ghost, uh, scrambled away from us also didn't trigger. I'm not sure if it's something to do with my settings or just this level is bugged, but I'm kind of disappointed. It doesn't want to let you go because you clean in so good. Maybe, maybe. It. The house does need an overhaul though, so. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Like I said, this is supposed to be pitch, de pitch dark, really spooky, and uh, it just isn't doing it right. And I think that might be because of my settings. Hello! You just turned to face me, huh? What a funny little guy. Oh, and... Yeah, for Jake, uh... Yeah, this, uh, scream mask casually changes every time I look away from it. Yeah, this is- we're supposed to not see Samara climbing out of this, but there's supposed to be something on this screen when we come in. And then it's supposed to stay like this, like the exorcist, while the rest of the house goes dark. I'm a little disappointed. I'm gonna have to look into my settings to try to figure out why all of this stuff didn't trigger the way it was supposed to. That said, let's uh, let's fix this curse. The curse has been removed, and the soul of Meyer's sister is free. So I guess Samarta Meyer, you know, is. In this case, uh, um, the mom, or sorry, the sister instead of the mom that died. Of course, the mu the spooky music isn't going away. Oh my! Oh, never mind. I thought there was an actual person over there because of how this was because I thought this was a person it's not it's the um, the gravestone oh big same I, w I definitely also wish that mowing lawns was this quick and easy because uh, it, it was one of my least favorite jobs. Although I preferred it to actually um, raking up 
the grass. Which was something Dad always had had me do. So my brother would usually um, mow the grass and then I would rake up what was left for one of our chores. I think the only chore I hated more than that was during the winters we would have to uh, shovel snow against the walls of the, of the house because we lived in a trailer to help with insulation. You would think the music would go back to normal after the curse was broken, but apparently that's not how this house rolls. So there's a, a chunk of stuff um, in this game that is improved in House Slipper 2. Uh, the tools are a little easier in some respects to use and access. Um, It's difficult to sort of put into words. The buying stuff is also a little better organized, and I think the biggest quality of life improvement, or at least one of them, is the ability to edit furniture you've already put down. Because you you cannot do that. Pass Super 2 also lets you copy uh, what you've already put down, like either its style or the thing itself which is not something you can do here, so. Good quality of life improvements. I do still have like, I, th I wanna say like hundreds of hours on this damn game though. I actually have like 30 some odd videos at least on my YouTube channel of me playing this game. <laughs> the actual missions and st such, so if you're ever interested y'all can check that out on my on my YouTube channel. They're from a few years ago, but I don't think my, my style has changed that much in the interim. Apart from becoming a bit more confident. Let's see, let's wash... Yes, yeah, so I house. I just realized our little, um, our little haunted gnome buddy is no longer here either. What a shame. TV is off, and no more changing for the mask. Now let's see. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't actually enjoy renovating houses. This sounds nuts, given that I play this these kind of games so much. I actually prefer missions where I have clear-cut objectives. So I'm actually gonna go back to the office. I'm a little... Back to the office. I might come back to that shortly. I'd like to see if I can just tweak my settings a tiny bit. And I think there's another spooky house. It's not quite as spooky. But I think there's another one I can check out. Now let me mess with the settings real quick. Minimap, yes. Just gonna set you to high. Sorry about making y'all watch this. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. So I guess I didn't have any settings on that would have made it so 
Hmm. So, tr in truth, I don't know why the effects for that level didn't happen. That said... I want to take a look at this room. Room 404. A cozy apartment where nothing is out of order. The 90s furniture only adds the feeling of normalcy. I think this is a reference to Silent Hill The Room? I'm not 100% sure, but I want to check it out. Indeedy! Yes, I'm not scared of anything. I was right. Okay, this is more what I'm fucking looking for. So. Yeah, this place is locked. We've got some shoes. And I cannot leave the house. Excellent. Alright. So I have never actually played this level before, unlike the other one. All right, well. Well, the kitchen itself, aside from this being a little dingy, isn't bad. So, oh. Mm, we're gonna assume those stains are pizza. Hmm. That's not concerning at all. Hmm, this is also not concerning. Now let's see. What is going on in here? What does it say? Oh, it doesn't say anything I can read? Damn. Kitty, a novel, anything outside, looks like a city. I'm hesitant to use my flashlight because I want to be able to see shit, but also, the vibes, you know? Alright, well... Oh my. Oh my. I'm always flipping houses. I'm always flipping houses. I'm always flipping houses. I'm always Okay, sounds like you don't have anything else pertinent to say. What if we just... What if we just sat in here for a sec? I don't like that it just auto-saved! So, these clothes show us something we have to dispose of. Okay. This screen effect is interesting. Uh, what just happened? Okay. Hmm. I was right! This is a reference to the room! Oh, I'm so happy. I just made an assumption. Oh dear. We might have to replace this completely. This is not coming up. Oh my. Oh my.
How sad is it that I'm actually getting the tiniest bit spooked? Pretty sad, I think. Well, listen, I know you're just kind of doing your thing, but, um, if you could consider, okay, so these cannot be cleaned up. Uh. Oh, dear. You cannot be cleaned. And now the TV is on. And, uh, this must have recently fallen down. Hey, you good? Hmm, not gonna lie to y'all. I actually don't know how to fix this. Hmm, I'll keep poking at it. This place is cursed, but with how this game works, there's a way to lift it. Can I sell the chains? <laughs> nope! <laughs> Can't clean them. Okay, there's something in this corner. I don't like that. Hey, Jay! I hope your day is going well. We are legitimately in the hotel room, or the apartment from, uh, the Silent, the Silent Hill game, what is it, game two or three? I've cleaned most of the mess, but, um... Oh! I've slept through 90% of it, I see we're in Silent Hill 4. Yes, indeedy. Okay, I don't think I've broken the curse because it hasn't given... Wait, did I? Maybe I did. That weird effect is no longer on the screen. Okay, and the footsteps are- the, the footprints are gone. Okay, I guess I just needed to fix... Oh, I didn't get the little notification saying I broke the curse. I could sleep in here? Excuse me? Sleep till midnight. Okay, well, the, the grossness is gone from here and from here. Go ahead, sleep in here. You can't go wrong. Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Oh, and even these chains have, tur these chains have turned from... I can sell them now! They're only worth $7. <laughs> there we go. The curse is fixed, I guess. All right. Well, this place is a bit of a sty, so uh, if I'm gonna sell this to somebody else, I'm first, you know, fixing it up a tiny bit. Curse chains, eh? I can give you seven dollars. That that is some real Radio Shack price right there. Okay, this, this is just a really sad little thing, so I'm just gonna, um, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Now, there's a little, okay, there's a little black dot here that it's acting like there's something that needs to be cleaned or removed. When it goes ask curse if he just cleaned his apartment. I don't disagree with ya. But yeah, let's uh let's liven this place up just a little bit. I don't think we have to redo much or decorate apart from maybe a, a little bit more stuff. 
but okay well we can keep with I don't want to redo his cabinets because that's a pain in the ass in this game so instead we're gonna work around it um of course I do enjoy the fact that these effects made it look like you know the PS1 or PS2 game it was <laughs> But, that said, kinda ugly. So let's see, what do we feel like putting on the walls? What about wall panels? What do we have as far as wallpaper goes? What if I did something really obnoxious? Actually, why don't we just do something subtle? Better than plain. It's given depressed male protagonists. Quite literally. Yeah, uh, so we had just vi re briefly visited... Um, I'm sorry about the mouse doing this. There appears to be something wrong with my mouse. It just doesn't interface. Like, I have it charging and everything. I've, I've re... I don't know. It's just not working right. Well, if nothing else... I don't know how much more I'm going to do on this, but if nothing else, I can actually make it look a little less terrible. I'm surprised there's no music. They usually... In cases like this, they usually enjoy getting to, to play with new music. Not that I can carry a tune right now. Wait, is that even the tune for one of the Silent Hill games? I, wow, I don't even remember anymore. My brain is fried today. I, I would be, yeah, they definitely wouldn't have been able to get the license. Um, and even in the previous level I, well, level, quote unquote, level I just did, uh, it was just sort of generic spooky music and nothing like Friday the 13th uh, inspired. But hi, Bun! I hope your day is going well. Especially. And there's a Brian! Thank you guys all for popping in. I really appreciate it. Uh, so, we're in Silent Hill 4. <laughs> I just redid the, um... I just redid part of this, but yes, we, we are in fact in Silent Hill 4. Now let's see, I'm gonna redo these, the ceiling, it's just friggin' ugly. Um... Do I just... is there just nothing plain? I don't want fucking skid plate. I don't want tiles. Panels. What about panels? I don't know, because that's wood panels. Come on now, do we not have... Coverings. Is this better? Linoleum. Well, I think anything's better than this dirty looking thing. Ah, actually, I don't know about that now. Well, then again... It does kind of go with the gray. Now, now, kids. Get along. This might work better. How does this look? Okay, yes, that is significantly better. Uh. 
I will turn this car around. But yeah, long story short, I did the Friday the 13th level. It was kind of underwhelming because something in my settings or something must have made it the spooks didn't happen the way they were supposed to, which was a little disappointing. I'll have to redo it for you guys at some point. And yeah, I'm just going to redo all the ceilings because this is such a nasty texture. I don't know if I can make myself do more than that with this space. I'm not really expecting to get much in the way of uh, money back on this. But yeah, I probably should have waited a little longer to look at this before I went into this level, but either way, um, yeah, this was... I wish you'd seen it before I got rid of it, or before I finished it, but yeah, there was a big hole here on the wall. I thought it might have been this game, but I wasn't 100% sure until I saw that. At which point I became very happy. There was black all in here, and like all over some stuff, like on here. Oh yeah, I do need to buy... Uh, where's the refrigerator? Furniture... Kitchen... I gotta say, it's... Kitchen... Electronic equipment, there we go. Sometimes it's tricky to find where they put stuff in this game because everything's organized strangely. Sadly, no option to creep on your female neighbor. Thanks, Silent Hill. Mm. Well, this actually looks closer to inviting now than it did prior. I am still going to replace this floor because it's ugly. Tiles. Now we can do tiles. Porcelain, I don't think would be bad. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that's what broke earlier. Alright, well that's not bad. It doesn't... I guess it doesn't look too poorly. We're leveling you up. Entertainment, TVs... 21st century, bitch! And you know, the, you know, totally not haunted light that is just the candle that's on forever now. I'm just gonna stick you over here where you belong. On a counter somewhere. I think that's glitched. I can't. Oh, never mind. I can actually move it now? Okay, thanks. Excuse. It, hello? Alright, I can't move those. <laughs> Why are there no... Why is this person's... Accessories, bathroom... Why the hell is there no, uh... Like, towel holder closer to the actual, uh, thingamajig? That's just silly. Someone glued the shoes to the floor. Uh, perhaps. I wouldn't put it past them. Let's make sure this is all very... Boring. That seems to be the aesthetic for this house. Boring as shit. That said, the wall in this room's ugly as sin. I need to do something about it. So. Wall. That, nope, that's not gonna do it. Wallpaper. Let's do something. We can continue being boring. Let's do a beige. That way we won't offend too, too many sensibilities. You 
you know, this was a fun little level. I think it's neat that they were experimenting with this sort of thing. I wonder if I have enough money to show y'all, after I sell this anyway, to show you guys the, uh, the Dragon Ball house. I'll have to, go, I'll have to check and see. I don't think normally I would take a while to help um you know just pretty up the place but I don't have the patience tonight I don't know why I'm enjoying myself I just don't really want to decorate okay was that it technically um Though, in this game, the music is pretty continual, so for it to be just completely silent in here is disconcerting. Oh, I can delete them, I just can't move them. Alright. Alright, and uh, that's fine. For a laundry room, it doesn't matter as much. Okay, I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna be boring and sell this place. Put on auction. Dolan Trusk, eat my entire asshole. <laughs> you know what? Sure. Actually, wait. Let me see if I can't negotiate. Give me, like, a few thousand more dollars, please. Because... Okay, let me just go ahead and accept that. Oh, I didn't share. It didn't. It didn't save pictures of the spooky parts. Raising the price is the least they could do, considering cursed. <laughs> I mean, this is true. I did just technically uh, exercise two houses. Oh good, the music's back. Alright, let me see if I can't, if it'll let me go to the Dragon Ball house. It might not, because it's crazy ex- Oh, never mind, it's not as expensive as I thought it was. The Turtle House. A hidden gem, a cozy house in the Smile Island far out in the ocean. The previous owner is a renowned martial artist master who left this place to start his own dojo. Make house instead of Kame house. <laughs> I am probably not going to do much editing to this aside from cleaning it up because you can't change perfection. Okay, but yeah, apparently we got here on this, and uh, welcome to Not Kame House. Oh damn, I thought I could go at least a tiny bit into the water. But yeah, I'm not gonna cut down the tree. I'm not gonna do anything but clean this place up a little bit. What's this? What? Okay. I don't know if that was supposed to be a Dragon Ball or not, but it was a little too small to be a Dragon Ball. Aren't those- aren't they- aren't Dragon Balls usually, like, pretty sizable dudes? Like, head-sized? 
Unless this is the game maker's way of distancing themselves further from actual DBZ. Because, uh, yeah, they definitely didn't get licenses for any of these homages they're making in these levels. Okay. Oh, it's not a Dragon Ball! It's... They're... Instead of stars, they've got the tools for my stuff! This is the tool for grabbing shit. On the... On the... This. Oh, I love that. I didn't see what the other one was before. I hope they let us look at these... Um, I should while I'm out here, though. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. So the fun thing about this game... It wasn't the studio's first game, but in some ways there's still a little bit of jank. Uh, for example, if there were dirt on the inside of the walls inside the house, I could get rid of that by spraying the outside of the building. Sometimes, anyway. It didn't always work. Okay. Well, I just saw another one, but my question is... Okay, I didn't see what that was either. Okay, so, so far we've got... The mallet, the grabby hands, and the selling item. Fun! We also have the, uh, the old man's glasses. And his extremely dead plants. Oh, poor sad dead plant. Oh, it's on the ceiling. Okay. And boop, and boop. I guess just storage. Don't gotta really change that. Excuse me. And more storage. In the little bitty bathroom. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was like, where's the basement? Because I remember that having one. At least in this game. Da Excuse me, down please. Thank you. Aww. Now... Okay, so that is the... What one is this? Oh, it's the, it's the break shit mallet. It's the this, the demolition. Not a bad thing for me to have moved the bed regardless though, cause uh, Krillin and everybody left this place a mess. I'm sorry, not Krillin. To say Krillin would imply that copyrighted persons lived here. Now time to the couch and listen to some music prepare for tomorrow. Have a good night, Shiwa. Get some good rest, Brian. I appreciate you popping in for as long as you did. I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna go tonight. Mostly this is just me, like, getting my foot wet. Getting my feet sweat with... After being not streaming for a few weeks. I mean, this is cute. I don't see any reason to change it. Oh, you know, aside from you. That said, I am missing um, a good chunk of the... Actually, let me double check under those beds again. Because I'm still missing more of the balls. The not dragon balls. Okay. So no more are down here, which means there must be hidden... Maybe in some of the cabinets upstairs. 
if I'm remembering correctly, I think there's something in that fun that happens once we get all of them. Oops. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Thank you. There we go. That is... I can't tell. I'll just have to look at it once I get them into the collection. You're gonna go over here, bud. Oh, I forgot how much I didn't... I forgot how much it bothered me that we can't stack um, dishes and stuff in this game. But I do believe I'm missing at least one or two more balls, meaning I should take a quick... Oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, that's the paintbrush. Okay. Well, let me see. I'm missing one more. Maybe it's outside still. Can't open any of those. There's not in there. Already looked through these cupboards. Not in there. Already looked in there, so maybe it is still outside somewhere. don't want to have to look up where the last goddamn Dragon Ball, or not Dragon Ball, is. That would be pretty embarrassing. Unless... Is it perhaps... No, I don't see it up there. So not on the roof. Curiouser and curiouser. I do enjoy the tea thing though. Oh wait, what's it say? To-do list. Find flipper balls. Ah, that's what they call them. Revive Krillin. <laughs> Eat, sleep, train, find flipper balls, revive Krillin. Hey, Master Roshi, you left your list behind, bud. Okay, well, at least the house is clean now. But, uh, I still need to find that last damn flipper ball. downstairs again, but I truly don't think it's in there. The only place I don't think I've found one yet is in here.
and it's clearly not in here. Alright, we'll try downstairs again. The problem is in this game that I can't crouch or anything, so... If something were at a lower level, I wouldn't be able to see it without going over. Oh. Look at over here. Okay, so not in the sink then. <laughs> Coffee, love, and tea. Okay, Master Roshi. Do I see anything special from up here? That's a no. Well, I must admit to being well and truly foiled. It must be somewhere I'm just not paying attention enough to see. They don't usually put more than one in the same space. Let's see it up there, unless it's maybe in the gutter or something. Hope oh, not you. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. Scaffolding! Here. If I can't find it from up here, then I have a real problem. Okay, so it's not at least on this side. Oh! Okay. Not on any of these roofs, then. Or in the gutter. Boop! Okay! Uh... Sorry about the delay, y'all. I must admit. Okay, so there's two outside. I think I must have missed one out here. Oh! What do you fucking know? <laughs> Alright, well. What if I brought these outside? And use the... Hello? I am disappointed by the lack of dragon. Hello, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> okay, I think it just does this until you use it again. Yep. Well, this was a fun engagement. That said, I am gonna just sell this house without doing much of anything to it. Sure, let's test it as an American garden, sure. Value of the house increased by zero. That's kind of what I assumed would happen. And somehow, I'm still getting a $45,000 profit. Um, I'm gonna pretend that those flipper balls don't work for anybody but me. Here, Raphael. A 
ba a bathroom. <sighs> I hate some. I, you know, I almost uniformly hate all of the buyers in this game. This dude's so obnoxious. I didn't tell you I wanted a sauna. Well, you should have thought about it yourself. Fuck you. There's no TV. Not good. Hey, where's the speakers? No TV in the bedroom. Minus one point. There's no s private space, only for myself. The entire house is for yourself, and there is so a TV in the living room. Ugh, fine. Take it, Jackwagon. Not like I ever- well, it's not like I did much to the house anyway, I just cleaned it a little bit. If some fuckboy can afford to, you know, buy a house on the islands in the middle of nowhere, he can have it. Especially if it keeps a him away from the rest of us. Oh. Okay. Well, let's see what other things do we have. Are there any other interesting houses to purchase? How dare you not have this extremely specific thing I wanted? Yeah, that is that is honestly precisely how the buyers are in this game, and it's super obnoxious. Um... I think this one is supposed to be like a reference to Frasier or something? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. Uh, if I remember sir yes! This is the house from Breaking Bad. This is an ideal house for a calm family. Some time ago, a happily married couple lived there with their children. They were a chemistry teacher and his wife who was an accountant. It is quite interesting that they made a lot of money on trade and left the house. It's their last year profit. Kevin Cosner. Uh, so yes, um, yeah, why don't I just... I'm not gonna really edit this house much, I'm just gonna clean it and resell it to show it off to you folks. I've never actually watched Breaking Bad because uh, I hate Walter White. He was never a good guy. Anyone who thinks he's a good person doesn't isn't watching the same show as was written. <laughs> yep, it has the pizza on the roof and everything. But yes, look, pizza. <laughs> but yeah, um. If I remember correctly, I think there's this little hidden... something hidden in this room, in this house, that's interesting. Breaking glad. <laughs> that's just where the person, instead of being an asshole and, and murdering people, when he had a really nice best friend that was gonna pay for his treatment, uh, instead just, you know, chooses to get treatment and become a decent person and, and just ends up, you know, breaking a bunch of Tupperware. You know, don't get mad, get glad. Yes. I don't get this reference, but does a child drown or something in the show? We'll just... We'll just get rid of these. I didn't realize it didn't go right around. Uh, I'm gonna have to do more work in here than I thought I was. That's alright. I'm not sure how accurate this is, if anything. The secrets, TM. <laughs> Ew. 
Is this where you cook, Walta? Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oh my! Look at all the money! <laughs> do I get anything from selling this? Holy shit, yes I do. 560. 504. 504. Okay! Well, neat. I just got back my... Or part of what I, you know, spent on the house. Fun. Though, uh... Hope the new buyers are okay with this weird hole. Let's see... Because unlike in the second, unlike in the new game, I can't actually, um, I can't patch anything in. You can't really build. You can a little bit, but it has to be a whole house. It says there's one hole left. Where? Oh. Okay. Okay, game. You do you, I guess. There we go. Why don't just... Yeah, just... Let me just take a moment to clean all of this. Oh. There we go. Oh, never mind. I guess it cleaned itself. Okay. Oh, there's just still a bit of dirt in here? Whereabouts? Is it on the floor? Oh, there we are. Yeah, I must admit, like, I don't know. I know folks have said that the writing in Breaking Bad is great and that they super enjoyed the show, but Walter is so deeply unlikable as a character that I just could never watch it for more than, like, maybe two episodes without just wanting... I, I just rooted for him to lose, you know? So, like, there was no enjoyment in it for me to watch it knowing that he wouldn't get caught for... D didn't it last for several seasons? That said, anyone who enjoys it, I'm super glad you do. I've heard really good things about it. Just, you know, don't try to be like Ham... Hamburberg? I assume that's a reference to something in the, how in the show. I watched it, but I fe felt mad about it. Yeah, that's fair, too. Like, all of these shows were definitely not for everybody. Helsenberg was this dealer's name. Ah, so I assume it's a reference to that somehow. Oh. I'd like to know who jankified his damn, uh, all of his doors. I, I thought there was a basement in here. Guess not.
I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't feel like editing this place. Or I don't feel like, uh, at least not on, str on screen, on stream, rather. I just, I don't know, cute little house, nice little easter egg for people who like the show. I don't. So I'm gonna go back to the office. Probably his buddy, Jesse. <laughs> Let me see if there's some jobs available instead of just poking my head in and out of some houses. Let's see, mail. Demo garden DLC cleaning up the garden. Hello! I need help cleaning up the garden. The crew that worked for me previously left a lot of equipment and messed up the terrace. I hope I can count on you and you'll make my garden the most beautiful in the neighborhood. Good luck, Lisa Fisher. Okay. Alrighty. So for some of these, so this is one of the first ones, the first jobs that was in the garden DLC. So for some of these specific ones, we cannot go inside the house, just outside. And this is one of them. Ex gang? Excuse me. Okay, there we go. Alright, so you want some stools. I don't really know where you want them. I guess we'll just stick them like this. And a rocking chair. Two rocking chairs. Oh, I see! The stool is supposed to be a... Um... Like... A table, then. I don't know why it's called a stool in that case, but alright. Here. Alright, and then they want a plant. There we are. Well, there's this little section done. Get rid of some. Ah, so it also wants me to mow the lawn. Okay, I'll do that after I get rid of this literal pile of trash. I do enjoy the fact that it leaves an imprint in the grass. That's a, I think, a really lovely, like, detail. You'll notice that when I click on things, they just vanish. I don't have to find a, gro uh, a garbage can to put them in, they're just gone. It looks like they want me to cut down several trees, too. Well, let's get rid of this first. me to outfit this area so let's see a table four chairs plant and another seating area so I wonder where the best place to put the the table area would be perhaps over here yeah it can't hurt I don't think not like they have any rules for where to place stuff for usually in these type of things Two 
blue into small table. Hmm? Uh, we can probably stick those over here. Not perfect, but not not a bad spot. Yeah. Can I scoot you back a little further? Yes. And they want a p couple of plants. So maybe I'll stick one there. Yeah. I mean, not perfect. Technically, that's a little tight, but it'll work. And then, I don't know why, where you expect me to put some of this shit, y'all. And they want a poinsettia. Okay, uh, I guess we can put that here, then. There. Okay. Alright, they want me to sell the scaffolding. And remove trash. So I'm not yet done with all the Garbo. Do you know I'm done with the Garbo? Which tree is this tree, it seems? And what other tree? This guy. This one as well. If cutting down trees were this easy, my dad's my dad wouldn't have such jank joints and stuff. <laughs> did I? I don't think I ever told the story on stream, did I? About how my dad uh, dropped a Christmas. Or what am I talking about? My, okay, so my dad worked in Christmas trees for a really long time. And, uh, unrelated to that, he also did a lot of work with, um, if folks needed parts of some woodland cleared out and stuff back home, he would do that a lot. And one time, before me and my brother were born, he actually, he was by himself, he was finishing up some work for the night, it was starting to get dark, he had a kind of jank, whatchamacallit, uh, chain, chainsaw with him that he knew it was kind of jank, but, you know, he was trying to get the last use out of it that he could. Anyway, so he's doing some stuff, and he, uh, basically he hits a knot, hit, the chainsaw hits a knot in the wood that is so hard that it makes, it, it bounces back. The blade bounces back, and the still running chainsaw whacks my dad upside the head. Uh, so basically, he now he gets migraines now, like even thirty years later, because of this accident he had. Uh, so yeah, he had a he had a cut in his skull that day. He had to basically get himself out of the woods and find the nearest possible cabin to to get him a ride to the nearest hospital. <laughs> okay, it says I removed all the weeds. Yeah, no, my dad's got some pretty gnarly stories from times in the woods. I think there's a lot of stuff that happened to him over the years. I might have mentioned it on stream before that, um, he was, he, when he, and this all happened, like, when he was in his early 20s, because he didn't have me and my brother till he was 30, and, um, how my, how one of my uncles tells it, or by uncles I mean friends of the family, is that dad was... Everybody was racing to get to the country club, which is one of the best, um, not one of the best, it was one of the only bars in town. Everyone was racing to get there first, because the first person there didn't have to pay for shots. And how my dad tells it is he sees my dad's car stop, or my, my uncle, Steve, that my brother is named after, he sees my dad's car stop. My dad was driving a truck, and uncle Steve is like, so I see... Lloyd, my dad's name, so jacket come flying out the back window of the truck. And then I realize Lloyd is still in that jacket. And that's the exact tone he tells it with, too. Yeah, dad got yeeted out the back. He got in an accident on the way, 
he got yeeted out the back, the small back window of a truck. And uh, how that man did not die before having us, I don't know. He was in so many shenanigans. At this point, it... I appreciate it, Soda. At this point, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sh hush up. Um, it's just... It's almost funny how many accidents he and my brother have gotten into. It's definitely a New England... Or, I don't know. Maybe it's just an our family thing. Just lots and lots of shenanigans. The last time my dad lost his license was for, uh... So there's a little bridge in the middle of town. One night, or one na morning, he was driving back home at like 5, 4, 4 a.m. to between 4 a.m. and 5 a.m. There's a little bridge that is right next to the diner that is now defunct, but used to be one of the most famous in town because it opened wicked early. So my dad's like, hmm, literally no one else on the street. Let me see if I can get some air on that bridge while I'm driving. So how, the story he tells it is that he was driving, he got some air, so he was actually jumped the bridge a little bit. And he, the way he says is, he looked down like mid-jump, and he realizes there's a police cruiser parked at the diner. And <laughs> so that's the day, like 20, or actually no, it's been like 32, 30 something years ago, my dad lost his license and never got it back. <laughs> from jumping the bridge in the middle of town. I want to say it's a rural thing, but we've all heard about my brushes for mortality. This is true, Jay, and, and you weren't always a rural, a rural creature. So. I think it's just a people thing. Everybody's got one or two stupid stories to share. Let's see if I can't do another job. Demo... Demo HGTV DLC. Let's change things up. Good day. I'm writing to you because I need a house renovation. Our children grew up and they needed play space. We also want to redo our bedroom. Additionally, I would like you to fix a few minor things around the house. Best regards, Ralph Sanders. Aye. Uh, regarding this uh, this note about Nodis, I don't like to see this cockroaches because they move and that messes with me and it also makes it harder to vacuum them up. So rather than cockroaches, I've turned the cockroaches into, uh, whatchamacallit, um, pieces of glass. Also, Sunset Bay is a place that we can, we do some jobs in, in during the luxury DLC in this game. Let's see, where did you want me to do shit here? I forget. I do like the deck. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness, I would want this in real life. I, you know what? The decorating they did in this place? I like it. The aesthetic also reminds me about our characters in House Flipper 2. I feel like Tori should be here for this, for these sem somewhat appropriative, uh, like, Day of the Dead type thing on us here. Alright, so there's nothing they want me to do in here. What renovations did you... It must be upstairs that they want me to do some stuff. But it's funny. You can kind of tell over time how the creator's aesthetic changed to be more like House Flipper 2. And this is an excellent example of it. This is a, a much later job than most of the others. Because it's a much later DLC. Okay! So what I think they're gonna have us do is divide this room in two. Maybe? Because it looks like it's a, right now doing double duty as a kid's room and a regular room. Okay, can I leave this alone? I hope so, because that's a lot of stuff. Okay. 
Okay, ceiling. Okay, this one. All right. You want me to paint? So let me actually get the big paintbrush or the big thing o paint. There we go. Herein lies my question. If we're turning this, are we turning this into the parents' room? Because it looks like... I thought... It... Anyway. I have a little bit of confusion. Nothing in here, so I can just close this. Well, we might as well do the first part of this, which is the painting. I really like this wallpaper. <laughs> it's really pretty. What's kind of funny is, so Gray Still Plays doesn't play this game anymore, but he used to back when this game was really new. Uh, even before it was, you know, fully released. And some of the glitches that he... It's really fun, I guess, seeing how the game was back then. I started playing the game not long after he did, but some of the glitches he had in his early videos no longer existed by the time I started playing. So, definitely interesting to see how this game has changed over time. Yeah, I guess I've been playing this game since it first came out, pretty much. Give or take a year. Okay, they want me to do... No, that's not it. Yeah, and... You. And a big one for this one. This is one thing I do not miss. Well, actually, that's a lie. I kind of do miss it in some respects. It does lend more realism. It's a little tedious, but I think it does add quite a lot to the game. Or at least to the experience of it. Let's see. Bad. I am not leaving it this colors. These colors. Absolutely not. Let's see. This is a yellow. We're doing white. I'm not leaving it the default colors. That's ugly as sin. If, if nothing else, it'll be neutral. I'm absolutely not leaving it as is. Of course, they chose an option that doesn't have any, like... Whatchamacallit? Uh... Oh, I can't words right now. Purple! That's the word I was looking for. They don't have an option with any purple. I mean, I guess I'll stick it over here. I don't really know where they want me to put it. It's kind of 
of small for a couple. If a couple's sleeping here, this is kind of a small bed. Uh, let's see. Might as well make it all match. Well, could make it yellow. Eh, on the second hand. Or on the other hand. Let's just go white. Let's see. Can these have any fun colors? I guess pastel is about as good as I'm gonna get. It abruptly got a lot darker in here. Since the kids are moving out of our bedroom and getting our own change of space, we decided to do something else with the room. Let's change things up. Okay. The bedroom itself is not large enough for such a large space. You can definitely fit something nice in here. Adding an office here away from children might be the perfect solution for getting silence to work. A bedroom and a relaxed zone in one, a perfect combination that will uh, satisfy everyone. Huh. Do you guys have a preference? Actually, I'm gonna go with the office. Less, less because room away from children to work, and more because, uh, yeah, why not have a computer in your room? <laughs> Okay, well, let's finish that, then. Desk? Desky desk desk? Where'd the desk be? There we are. Here. Alcabros can't let themselves be tied down by children. <laughs> yeah, I honestly at this point don't know if this is a single dude or like who's gotten divorced and the kids are moved out or if it's like a couple, but like I said, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but that looks like a small ass bed for a single person for 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 a couple. Yeah, pastel rose, why not? These are really big light fixtures to have two of them in the same room. But, alright. Then again, maybe I'm going off of my New England architecture thing, where we're lucky. We're very fortunate if we even have an overhead light. God knows, there's been places I've lived in or stayed at where there was no such thing. Uh, sure, yellow. Wait, wait. On the one hand, love this amount of personalization. On the other hand, meow. What if I just put you over here instead? Oh yeah, and I should probably put down this poof. White, and... Yeah, I guess cream will work as good as anything else. Yeah, yeah I guess it would be better in this part of the room. Laptop! Oh, I can't make it of any fun colors? Then what's the point? I guess. Taking all the fun away. Where even is the 
front to this. I truly cannot tell. You know what? It's just gonna have to go like this. Sorry. Organizer. I wouldn't mind having one of these at work. I'm gonna stick you over here, actually. Router? Jedi document shelf. Jaddy? Jedi? This does not have any good spots to put it on. There's not going to be much room left on this desk if you keep putting stuff on the desk that are this enormous, so I'm just going to stick them up there. This is... Why do I have another poof? I'm confused now. Where does... Where does this supposed to go? I'm confused now. Okay, yep. Gotta have a garbage can, I suppose. Here. Uh, sure. Little plants didn't hurt, never hurt nobody. Work with me, not against me, computer. Okay, I, woof, I don't know where we're supposed to put you. I, I guess we'll just put you here. And a you actually, yeah, you'll go just fine. Whenever I say you, whenever I see Yuka, all I can think of is playing uh, Seven Days to Die. And yeah, let's make you extra big. Sure. I guess. I don't know. I I I don't understand. I guess I'll just put you here, because I can't think of a a, a a smart place to put this otherwise. I guess no, no. I guess we don't want to clean the, not clean. I guess we don't want to put any pictures up on the walls. Is a Minecraft sur Minecraft zombie survival mod I was debating changing the server to? Yeah, I mean that's valid. I'd like to play Seven Days to Die with you guys again someday. It definitely always takes a long time to get anything done, though. All right. Now. The game clearly... I still have another task in here, it seems. Given that I'm not even halfway done. The progress bar. Ah, oh, it's in here. This appears to have been the abandoned office and hobby room. Which... Mood. Oops. Sorry. Ceiling fan and these? Okay. It says, make a decision. Our boys need a new bedroom, but we can't decide how to decorate it. The boys are going to want separate bedrooms, even if they're a lot smaller. Let's see. They want me to knock out... This one and okay. Uh, Squizzy, thank you. All right. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to sell this then. Yep, because it's no longer, and then... Ah. Okay. 
Now here's the thing. As far as the game is concerned, it's perfectly okay if I don't paint this. As far as I'm concerned, it's very much not okay. So I'm gonna have to try- this is part of where the, um, what should we call it? The, the quality of life improvements I would have preferred. Because now I get to try to find what color matches. Just by freeballing it. Nope. That ain't it. Needs to be a little more... I think this one is too dull, but... Yeah, it's too dark, actually. So, Horizon and Celestial Spheres is out. What about Gentle Breeze? Nope, but I can tell at a glance isn't quite right. I don't think Sleepy Blue is correct either. What about Azure? That's way too dark. Too green. Too green. Horizon? Perhaps. Oh, nope, that was the... Ah, damn it, that was the color I just used. I don't think it's... Mm -mm, not quite. Too dark. Might be a little too green. Let's see. No, it's the correct color! Thank Christ! So yes, that's a quality of life improvement I very much appreciate. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Well, let's... let's... <coughs> build this wall first. Swallowed saliva wrong. A plus, good job, me. Ooh, I got a new skill point. Uh, sure, can build three walls at once. That'll be eventually helpful. I have to use both of these colors, so. Well, I like the blue. Ah, oh, Kreiner Muffins. Ah, oh, damn, now I have to repaint the whole thing. Oh well. Not the end of the world. Boop. 
can keep the colors the same on this one, fortunately. Okay, yeah, that's as good as we're gonna get. So, actually, uh... What wood was this? American Elm. Okay. We'll keep this default so it matches everything else. And you... I think... Are there no options for blue? Okay, yes there are. And no, we want American Elm to match the rest of this. Trouble being, there's no real good place for a desk, so I guess we're just gonna have to stick it here. You're joking. Chocolate mahogany, American maho American mahogany, but no American elm. Ah. American. Okay, there we go. That was gonna drive me nuts. I like my shit to match. Wait, where the where the fuck are the front doors on this thing? Okay. Goodness. You can hardly tell. Okay. Uh, well, what other furniture do I have to put down? Uh, you know what? Sure. Oh, Jesus, that was huge. I did not anticipate that. Uh, let's see. Why? I don't understand why if I make them the same exact type of wood, they don't match, but okay. Close enough, I guess. I guess this is the best place for this, I think. And... Sure, I guess boys like cars. My brother definitely had plenty of car stuff in his room growing up. Actually, no, this, this, this bothers me. The default of that door automatically doesn't have stuff slatted. And, uh... The kid definitely deserves privacy. The same as his brother does, so... There. That's much better. Okay. Alright. This brother's gonna have a different color scheme, it seems. These two long walls I'm gonna have be this color. Maybe this short wall will have white again? I'm not sure, we'll see. Nah, actually the other boy got three walls of the color. I'll do the same for this boy. Although, this is a fun opportunity for me to do this. 
That's a fun highlight. Sure, we can go white and I don't want pastel. I'd like yeah. I think gray stripes and speckles perhaps. White wood's not a bad idea, and I do know most stuff in this does have a white wood option, so that should be fine. So yes, I think putting this here would be the best because Furniture on this wall is going to be tricky because of these indents. Nope, white wood. Desk? White wood. Wait, no, can I put. Yes! Okay, good. And, yeah, I guess I'll just put you the same, right near the door, as the previous... as your sibling. Yep. Hackety, there we are. It's always a struggle to find the, the front door or whatnot for these. Only one kid gets privacy. They have to duke it out for the bedroom and their parents' affection. <laughs> no, that's too real. That's too real. <laughs> I will say this for my parents. They always tried to make sure that me and my brother got the same exact shit at all times. Which is tricky because we're only nine months apart. So, put a lot of pressure on them. Let's see, you're just small enough to fit in this little alcove. Lucky you! Aw, to kitty! And. What about. Jesus, okay, that's that's definitely too big. Let's go medium? Okay, that's a lot more reasonable, yeah. You have better taste in decoration than your sibling does. And a kitty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hush up. So this is what the house looked like before I got my hands on it, the one my character is currently living in. Our character in this game is is very much a blank. We don't have a family like we do, like our character does in House Flipper 2. And I will say House Flipper 2 has definitely made a lot of strides, specifically regarding storytelling and like characters, which is not a thing to say when they're kind of shallow. Like I wouldn't say they're shallow necessarily. What I mean is, there are actual characters in the second game. There are in this game and some of the jobs. But, and they're not, they're still pretty well done, it's just not the same. That said, I think this is it for me for tonight. I'm a little tired, and, uh, I, um, mostly I just wanted to get back into the swing of things. That said, I very much appreciate everybody for coming out to this tonight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and raid uh, Kit. He, this is... Oh, crap. Uh, Kit the Lux? I think this is how I do it. 
Yeah, I appreciate- yeah, thank you, Tor- er, thank you, Jay. I very much appreciate all of you for popping out for the stream today, even though it was kind of low-key. It's been nice getting back into the swing of things after the last couple weeks without- without streaming. I'm gonna go ahead and raid Kit. He's talking about- he recently did a trip with a bunch of other Mobians to New York- I think it was to some place in New York for a- for a Sonic concert or a Sonic event, which was pretty cool. I was going to say, I definitely got the wrong twin just then. I was about to say Tori, but no, it's the- it's, it's the taller one. It is the J. But no, I- I appreciate you guys popping out. I'm gonna go ahead and bother Kit. Um... Yeah, he he went and he visited a bunch of Mobians for a concert in in for Sonic. It seems like it was a really cool experience. He's just talking about it now. But um, Kit is obviously a super good friend of mine. We usually stream together on Wednesdays. Hopefully, they'll start up again this week. If he doesn't stream Wednesday, I'll probably play something else. Uh, maybe a hidden object game. Maybe something else. And then next Saturday, I'll, I'll plan on doing something as well. But yes, thanks again, everybody, for popping in. I really appreciated the company. Until we talk again, take care and stay safe. And now let's go bother Kit. <laughs>